Hey, what's going on guys? So today we're gonna to be talking about the Leatherman Crunch. I have some great news, but also an apology to go with it. The Leatherman Crunch is back in production. What is the apology? Well, this is not really news. <laughs> this happened, I believe, in December of 2022. So, um, yeah, I'm kind of late to the party here. I knew about this. I remember when everyone was talking about it and they're all excited. If you're, you know, following the multi-tool universe, so to speak, um, you probably already know this. But I just never got around to making a video about it or until now. So I broke out my original um, Leatherman Crunch, which I think is one of the coolest models. It might not be for everyone. Essentially, this is Leatherman's version of a folding, uh, transforming, if you will, uh, vice grips. Okay, so it's locking pliers. I know some people, depending on where you live, uh, vice grips are also called mole grips. I never really heard of that before. Uh, someone mentioned that to me once, or mole uh, wrenches, something like that. You can let me know if there's other names for it, but I've just always called them vice grips or just locking pliers. So this is Leatherman's take on it. Now, the, uh, the model was long discontinued. I remember making a video on this when I got this in a trade. And uh, in that video, it, you know, everyone was interested. Oh, this is super cool. But you just couldn't find them. They were extremely expensive on the secondary market as collectibles. However, because they put it back in the lineup as a production model, that's what was really exciting. Fast forward till now, they're very hard to get again. Even the newer versions... Uh, seem to be sold out on Leatherman's website. I'm not sure. I don't check that stuff frequently. If you do, you can let me know if they come back in stock here and there. Uh, from Leatherman, they were listed at $120, uh, but you can see them online for sale right now between $130 to $150. So it just depends on what source. All right, so it's not a cheap multi-tool by any means. They're just super popular because they're just pretty darn cool. So if you haven't seen my first video, I'm gonna give you just a quick breakdown here. All right, so we have the traditional, you know, thin Leatherman, you know, format. So you do get the, the sheath, right? This is obviously the original sheath. The new one would come with a newer style sheath. But, uh, you know, it's a slim line package, so to speak, right? So you take the tool out, you unfold it. When you first unfold it, it looks kind of funky. What's going on here? The head rotates up, right? You can see there's a little kind of arm or joint there with two divots on it, and that you know, kind of basically snaps into that portion here. So if I close the head here and look right like that. I'm just going to push forward. It just pressure fits. There's your pliers. Here's your adjustment. So let's unscrew that. This is obviously keeping, you know, the, the jaws a certain length. Actually, I'm going to close them a little bit so I can get some pressure here to give you an example because I'm not gripping it on anything. All right, a little bit more. All right, so there's a little resistance here, but we push down, they lock. So there you go, vice grips. Pretty darn cool, right? And obviously you can adjust this out pretty far for the jaws. And these are a more narrowed or pointed jaws as opposed to super squared off. But yeah, you have plenty of adjustment room. You can see that right there. All right, this little pin is showing you basically that's all the way out, that's where it stops, or obviously all the way in. All right, but super cool. Just interesting to have, you know, a Leatherman style tool in a locking plier or vice grip format. All right, so that's the, the main tool on this guy. Besides that, if you unsnap the head here and put that in, we do have a couple tools that are all lockable within the, uh, the handle here. So our main blade, which is a fully serrated Warncliffe style blade. All right, and again, there's a, a bar here, so all the tools do lock. There's no play at all, which is very nice. All right, so we have our blade. We have a small flathead. We have a Phillips. We have a large, or I'm sorry, large flathead, small flathead. And then we have a large, or the super large flathead combination uh, file. All right, and this is a file on both sides. And there's also a little ring in here. And there you go, there's a little lanyard loop. All right, if you wanted that, but that tucks right in. All right, and then to, uh, to close it, just goes back and kind of snaps together. All right, so super cool. Um, it looks like the remake or the reproduction of this is identical in every way. It's the same tools, the same layout, the same exact design. The only way to know the difference between the original and the new one, besides maybe the sheath, is on the actual markings here. 
All right, you can see this says Leatherman Crunch, and this is patent pending. The new ones say Leatherman and Crunch is on the same line, and Leatherman has a registered trademark, little circle R there. The Crunch on the same line also has the circle R as opposed to the uh, trademark little logo there. So that's really the only difference is the original two lines, the new one visually is just one line. Also the Leatherman on the new one, it's, it's like a box lettering. So, you know, you could do a quick take and know if it's an original or if it's one of the remakes, but uh, I don't know what the current market is for these originals. This one was just a little collector's piece. I did uh, test this out once just to see how it worked. It worked totally fine. It's very functional. Anyway, it's just a super cool model. Like I said, the novelty of how it works is really cool to me. I don't need vice grips all the time, especially in the daily, you know, um, even having regular, you know, manual pliers is something that I don't use all the time as it is. This is just a collector's piece for me. It's super cool. It's a novelty. I just, I love the innovation that went into this little tool. All right. But, um, but yeah, so the point of this is to let you know if you saw that first video and kind of forgot about it, went, oh, I really want one. And then you saw, oh, there are two or three or four hundred dollars, whatever ridiculous price they were getting. Now you know that they were remade. They're currently in production, apparently, um, but they're very popular. All right. So the price is still going to be higher, but not nearly as high as these originals. So let me know if you bought one ever since I made my first video, like, I don't know, three or four years ago, whatever it was. Um, you know, if you currently own a Leatherman Crunch, let me know what you think of it. Did you buy a, you know, newer version once they came back in production? If so, did you pay $120? Did you pay less? Maybe, you know, when they first hit the market and they were pumping them out left and right, uh, maybe they were at dealer sites for cheaper. I don't really know. Um, I just see that the current market right now is obviously higher because of the demand. But super cool. Like I said, for me, it's a, a big novelty. You can go to Harbor Freight and get vice grips, you know, that do the exact same job, um, you know, minus those couple extra tools in there for probably five bucks. You know, why would you spend 150 or 250 or 400 or 500 for the originals just for the novelty? And although I don't know much about it, I assume, you know, the world's best vice grips are probably not as much as something like this um, and they will perform even better. So the reason you would get this is if you're a huge multi-tool fan, you like the novelty of it, you like the gimmick that's there, you like the innovation, you're a collector, that's pretty much why you would spend that kind of money on something like this. But I'm just curious, I want to get the, the you know, message out there, they are actually in production again, which is cool. And just a quick reference, if you're wondering if it's the original or one of the new ones, again, just look at the side, the, uh, the markings on there will we'll quickly show you which one it is. Because um, on that, they, they look identical. You know, you could take a new production version, you could probably buy an old sheath somewhere from someone and just claim it's the old one, but, you know, there is a definitive difference visually. So just looking at pictures, you'll know if it's a you know, new, new stock or one of the originals. Um, but also, I just wanted to ask you guys, do you have a Leatherman Crunch? And if you do, do you actually carry and use it, or is it just in your collection? So, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.